Hohenzollern Royal Family Quick History. The Centenary of the Kaiser Adolf Hitler, the Hohenzollern Royal Family Flag, and Monogram 2023, Part 4. The Blutfen incident in the gay bar in München on the 9th of November, 1923, and the compensation awarded afterwards, was the main catalyst for then Prince Imperial Adolf going into politics. Theoretically, given the constitutional monarchy referendum result in 1900, he should have already been Kaiser of Germany, and politics would not have been on the agenda at all. If he had not gone into politics, he would likely never have made any regular public speeches, apart from casually speaking at events like the Berlin Olympics, charity fundraisers, and openings as head of the monarchy. Most of the speeches made by Kaiser Adolf available on the internet are the fully recorded practice rehearsals in empty venues, edited to look like the final product delivered at the official event. Prince Imperial Adolf regularly used the bluffen at official events, sometimes inviting people to approach him and touch the blood-stained flag with their own. In 1940, after Kaiser Adolf was coronated, the copyright holder's name was altered to reflect the fact he had been officially crowned monarch. I am the second owner, and there is nobody else eligible to take over the German origin restricted royal family copyright. Morans who pretend the monogram and flag was designed by, copyrighted to, or taken over by the neo-Nazis when they declared their terrorism group by name in December 1943 are creating a lunatic logic gap of 20 years with the claim. Both were first copyrighted to my royal Hohenzollern family in 1923, when Wilhelm II was still alive. If those people insist on pretending the monogram and flag were first designed by neo-Nazis in 1943, after Wilhelm II died, they will not be able to get adulterated historical material about the Blutfen incident in 1923 removed from media. Simply because fake history lunatics playing reputation Othello with historical events fictionalized the incident to attempt to blame then-Prince Imperial Adolf for the putsch he missed completely. As if Prince Imperial Adolf tried to overthrow the German government himself in 1923, starting with the Beer Hall Blutfen incident on the 9th of November, then was elected to Parliament democratically ten years later. Kaiser Adolf was never convicted of a criminal offense in his lifetime.